it's just important to not get frustrated in this process. Be patient with these little guys. They're hungry, they're trying, we're all learning together. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and we are on day three with the Quest Litter. Uh, she is still doing a great job being a mama, and we are still taking our daily weights on our puppies. And I want to highlight what we are seeing as far as weight gains and weight losses go. So we've got all of our math here, um, and all of the puppies today gained weight from yesterday's weights, which is awesome. That means we're making improvements. However, some of the puppies are still not quite back above birth weight and we're at day three. So that means we need to still be supplementing. They have been doing an awesome job supplementing with the bottle and have all been nursing really, really well. Like I had mentioned in the first supplementing video, I noticed a trend of if I pulled a puppy that was actively nursing on mama, they didn't want to supplement as well. So it's important for me to make sure that I'm supplementing puppies when they aren't nursing on mom. And I'm going to try today to transition from the bottle to this bubble milk bowl. This thing is actually really awesome. Um, and it's got four nipples and you just open the top up, you pour your formula in here. This little stand is adjustable height wise. So you can either lay it full on the ground if your puppies are real small, um, depending on their size, as well as you could put it in the bubble milk bowl stand upside down where it's just barely up off the ground. And then as the puppies get bigger, if you're still utilizing this and needing to supplement, you can actually flip it over and that can stand up like that and it's a little bit higher up for when the puppies are bigger. So this makes supplementing a litter of 10 or more puppies very efficient if you can get a good transition from a bottle to a milk bubble um, because you go from one nipple to four nipples at the same time. So that is my goal for today. We're gonna see how it goes. If it doesn't go well and I'm not getting good latches, I'm not getting good um, supplement and transfers, I'm gonna go back to the bottle because the most important thing is for these puppies to continue gaining weight, continue getting the additional supplementation that they need. So however that works best, that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna try this today. So I'm gonna get that set up. Um, I like to use a little towel just so that those puppies have um, some traction because this surface can be really slick. It's super easy to clean up, which is awesome, but we need them to be able to have some traction. And because we've got little puppies started out, I'm gonna try my lowest level on the stand. If I need to go completely onto the, the floor here, I will. And then my bottle, my formula is already warmed up. So I'm just gonna open that up and pour that in. Try not to make a mess too much here. And then, if we need to, like I said, we can go back to the bottle if we need to. So I'll get my little lid on so we don't spill that and make too big of a mess. Um, there we go. And then I'm gonna grab my first four puppies. I'm gonna grab one at a time and try and get them to latch. As you can see, this has a pretty um, slow flow. There's a few drips that'll start coming out. You can express a little bit of milk to start that process so that the puppies sense that there's something tasty there that they're already used to drinking. So let me get this little pup pup started. So he's already looking, you know, I pick him up. He's already starting to look and say, hey, I know the routine. I get picked up, I get handled, and it might be time to eat. So I'm gonna try and help open his little mouth a little bit, just like we did with the bottle. It's a little bit more difficult because this is stationary where I can move and manipulate that bottle around a little bit. So just being patient with pup pups, helping them get latched. And we may have to actually go up. These guys are getting big quick. Uh, so let me go ahead and readjust my stand and try that. Flip that over, get that back here. That might be a little too high. We're gonna have to play with this. So we will see. There it is. There, a couple licks there. And this nipple is slightly different than my bottle nipple, so they're gonna have to get used to that new shape and texture and softness a little bit. I'm fighting it a little bit. It's okay. It's just important to not get frustrated in this process. Be patient with these little guys. They're hungry, they're trying, we're all learning together. No, here, let's try this one. Sometimes, oh, it's okay. 
Sometimes too, if you can get them sucking on maybe your finger or the other nipple, and you can transfer that suction and that latch to the other nipple, that can help. I know you're probably thinking, well, if you got your puppies to supplement on a bottle so easily, why are you even trying to do this? If you can get this transition and this transfer to happen, it does make life a lot easier when you get four puppies that latch immediately to this. They just go through it and then you can switch those four puppies to the next four puppies, um, which can make this just a really fast process. And when there's a lot to do and care for with a litter, it makes this process nice. So. Yeah, not quite ready. Well, we can come back to you. I'm going to try another little puppy. Let's see what your thoughts are, little pup pup. So this little female just popped her little mouth open. She's getting going a lot faster than that other puppy. So just he might not have been ready to accept this and he's still going to be a bottle fed puppy. Um, but let me go ahead and grab another pup pup. Come here you. Come here you. This guy. There we go. Good job puppy. Good job puppies. So we got two puppies started. Let me see. This guy says, I don't know about that. There we go. There we go, puppy. Three puppies going. And let me just get one more puppy latched here. I'm going to scoot over here so I can get in a, oopsies, a better angle. This puppy popped off the back. I'm going to try and get that puppy back on. There we go. Good job, pup pup. Okay. This guy's looking. We're just going to help him find what he's looking for. There we go. And just opening his mouth and trying to get him on that nipple. He's, you know, he's looking on my finger. He's looking on my finger. Try and transfer that. <laughs> you popped off too. And once they pop off, they're probably good. Like these guys have nice full bellies. I'm not going to force it. So these guys can go back to mama. You can get back to mama because you supplemented too. And then I'm going to try, like I said, to get this little guy on there. Um, but you saw I got baby sickly three puppies supplemented in the time it took me to get one puppy supplemented, which is why this can be really efficient. And keep in mind, again, this is their first day on the milk bubble. They haven't done this before. Um, so he is trying really hard. I think we're going to get really close here. Um, this is their first day. They're going to be a lot easier to latch the next time we do this. So I think that this is going to be a good option for these puppies once we <laughs> get the first transfer and acceptance of the milk bubble out of the way. There we go. And, you know, like I said, Quest is doing a really good job taking care of her puppies. She is providing almost all of the supplement or all of the nutrition that they need. <laughs> But I'm just topping these guys off a little bit. There we go. There we go. Good match. Just topping these guys off a little bit to help them just gain a little bit more. So think of this though. Think of if you had to supplement these puppies more than once or even twice a day and you've got 10 puppies and it takes you 30 minutes every time you supplement them and something happened and your mama passed or she isn't producing milk or she can't nurse them and you have to provide all of the supplementing, all of the nutrition for every puppy, every meal. So you're out here feeding puppies every couple hours. You want the most efficient way to do that. You want to find a system that is gonna help these puppies nurse efficiently so they can get what they need, then you can get them back in with their mama or their whelping nest, and then you can come back to doing other things that need cared for, whether that is super dog training, cleaning the whelping box, taking care of mamas. Um, today is day three, and our breed actually has dew claws and tails removed, so we are going to be doing that with these guys later. So there's all these other responsibilities that you have. So if you can make this part of the process easy, there we go. 
and you have to supplement every few hours, this is gonna make that a lot more efficient for you. Good job. So now we've got four puppies supplemented. Um, I think that my milk bubble might be just a tish high, so something that I might have to do is a modification where I flip it back over so it's on the low stand, but then maybe raise it up with a washcloth folded up underneath to just give it a little more height, but not quite as much height as this gives it. Just a little adjustment that I think I'm gonna need to do based on how big these puppies are right now. But I would say over the next couple days, then I'd be able to go right back to this being up tall. So let me go ahead and see about getting another puppy latched. And we're gonna go through the whole litter this way. So if you guys have a big litter, if you have to supplement your puppies and you have to supplement more than once or twice a day, this is a lifesaver, this is a time saver and I highly recommend checking out a bubble milk bowl. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.